Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. Um, my name is Lisa and I live in the United States. I live in Washington State and I am one of the English teachers here at Verbling.com. So if you have a reservation for this class, you can go ahead and use it now and come into the classroom, which is the Google Hangouts here. And if you don't yet have a reservation, then you can just okay. Hi everybody. Oops. Welcome oh, where's that? to another hour is that of you? English That's you, classes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to close com. your verbling.com window. There you go. I often forget that too. <laughs> so when Sorry. you click on the when you click on the join class button then it opens a new window and you get to the Google Hangouts window and when the um, Google Hangouts window is open then you can close the Verbling window because now you'll have the Google Plus Hangouts on one side and then the Verbling chat on the other side and we uh, can work it like that. So there were some reservations so we'll see here Ariela, in a minute if some people join us um, Nurel says maybe she'll be able to stay awake. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah. So um, if you want to join us, this is going to be a conversation class. So if you are interested in practicing your speaking skills, your English speaking skills, then um, go ahead and join us now. And we're going to have this entire hour to have a conversation. And so let's get started. We can, you know, other people can join us um, when they feel like it. Um, but we want to use this hour of our time together um, to the best, um, the best that we can. Okay. Hi. I said hi, Ariela. Already, Ariela. What time is it? Um, oh, remind me. Are you in two? Um, two a.m. Oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> wow. Do you usually stay up late, Ariela? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm very tired now, but I need to improve my English. <laughs> okay, you're getting ready for your trip, huh? Yeah. Nice. Great. Wonderful. My trip okay. is uh, the next Monday. Wow. Wow, that's coming up fast, huh? <laughs> Rem um, Ariela, you're actually going to be pretty close to uh, where Norel lives. Hi, Narelle. Hi. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Good. Welcome. Um, Narelle, tell Ariella where you live. Oh, oh yeah. somewhere, somewhere <laughs> near to Washington, D.C. <laughs> yeah. But what state do you actually live in, Narelle? Well, Ashburn, Virginia. It's uh, almost oh, okay. 10 miles. From Washington DC. Not okay. that far. It's just twenty minutes drive from my house to mm -hmm. Washington DC. Twenty minutes drive. Without twenty minutes, traffic. okay. With without traffic, traffic, right. Yeah, with I traffic maybe thirty five minutes. Maybe okay. one hour. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You never know. With with snow and with ice. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, Ariela is going to be visiting the United States soon to give a presentation, and she's going to be in Maryland, which is pretty close to Virginia. Yeah. So, yeah, it's right there. Um, now, Del, in fact, how long do you stay in USA? What, pardon me, what did you say? Oh, uh, how long do you stay in USA? Oh, I live here. I live. Uh, I live permanently. Um, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm living here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so how you, long ha I have been? Okay, uh, I yeah. have been here almost uh, three and a half mm -hmm. years. Three and a half years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe, uh, Ariella, you would like to talk to Narelle about that area because I, I don't live in that part of the country. I live on the West Coast. So wow. Washington, D.C. is considered more of the East Coast. 
So it is different in terms of a lot of things <laughs> in terms oh, okay, of okay, okay. yeah culture and weather and of course being near to the capital which is Washington DC lots of people live it's very populated where I live is not very populated at all um, and so it's very different uh, than where I live but um, Norelle lives there and has been there for three and a half years already so she knows a lot already about that area. Uh, I am yeah. oh, Go sorry. Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I am interested interested in uh, know how long do you need uh, live in USA to uh, improve or uh, talk in English with fluency? Oh, good question. Well, <laughs> Very good question. Uh, you have just to immerse yourself with the English. I mean, everyday English. Try to. Um, uh, the best way is to be in a native family speaking English. Okay. This is the best way for uh, people to learn quickly the language. However, if you speak your native, language in your house while you are in the United States, it will take it will may take you time to improve. Okay. You must That's speak right. English inside and outside. <laughs> <laughs> inside inside when you are in your house you must speak in try to speak English, listen to the news, do everything in English, thinking in English. Yes. Everything. When you prove, um, I might take. T I took time to improve because I wasn't speaking. Uh, I wasn't immersing myself. I was mostly speaking French with my family and friends. So that can take you time to improve your English. Uh, that's what happened to me with me. So <laughs> now, uh, yeah, now I ha I need to just to immerse myself with English so I can improve quickly. I still not fluent because I was uh, I was mostly talking outside with people a little English but when I came home I use my native language either Arabic or French to speak with my family members so that wasn't really and watching movies from my native country ah, okay. stuff that's doesn't that doesn't help but you have to do everything once you put your foot uh, on this ground in United States ground <laughs> then <laughs> you may try to do everything in English in order to improve quickly yes yeah, okay thank you oh, you are welcome <laughs> yes. And I just want to include uh, Yuki in here. Hi, Yuki. I just wanted to say hi and hear your voice. It's 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 not too uh, irregular time for you, Yuki. It's nice in the morning. Good morning time good, for good you, morning. huh? Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. <laughs> how, how are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Good. Good. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to answer that question, Ariella, and then I'm going to let Yuki answer it too because um, I, I had this similar experience to Norel. I have had two experiences. One was when I went to Spain. I was a foreign exchange student, and I lived with two different families. And when I lived with the first family, that was the beginning of my time there. So I didn't really know any. Spanish. Even after taking two years in high school in the United States, I can't really say that I knew much at all. So I spent mm -hmm. probably the first three months of living with the family and going to school, high school, um, okay. being pretty quiet. You know, just listening and just trying to make sense of everything, and you know, slowly starting to speak. But then after three months. I was able to do everything that I wanted to do, read books, participate in class, you know, go to movies, have friends. Um, and so you could say I was fluent by then, but then it's always a matter of 
you know, uh, expanding your vocabulary, learning more words, more phrases, things like that. So I'm, you know, still with Spanish. I there's plenty I can learn, obviously. Um, okay. But, Interesting. So I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. It's definitely. <laughs> I mean, you already are at a level way beyond <laughs> what I was at, you know. And but I think what Narelle is saying is true. I have I work even privately. People, you know, pay me money to um, talk to me privately because they live in the United States, but they might live in a very large community of like Arabic speakers or Urdu speakers or Spanish speakers, and they um, they don't get much practice in English because they can because the United States has such large communities of different people from around the world that you can really live without English pretty well in some mm -hmm. cities. Yeah. yeah. And so it's really a matter of you getting out there and trying to meet maybe some native speakers, immersing yourself in the language, um, and then it will go pretty pretty quickly. It's, um, you know, take some... I mean, you're going to be busy, and you'll probably be working with native speakers, I imagine, so that would be helpful. Um, but it just really depends, like, on what Narelle said. And I think, Yuki, maybe yes. um, for you, I'm wondering for the question, because you moved with your wife, who's Japanese, to Russia. Yes. How long did it take you, and what did you do to get yourself immersed in uh, Russian language so that mm -hmm. you could, you know, do everything you wanted in the language. Okay, in my case, mm -hmm. I I had to learned I had learned Russian uh, for five years in Japan. Yeah. Oh, I after, didn't know that. After that, but oh. it, uh, I uh, 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 firstly I learned learned Rus Russian uh, for myself. After oh. I I get. I, I go to go to school, uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. lang language school, uh, uh, ni night school, uh, 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 where where Russian teacher uh, uh, ha had 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 taught me Russian uh, uh -huh. basic ba basic uh, skills of uh, Russian language Russian. Yeah. After uh -huh. that, I came here to Moscow, and uh, and firstly, uh, and I, I I got to work here in Japanese company. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. for, uh, for, uh, in Moscow, and firstly, uh, I I didn't understand what what to, uh, what uh, around what the people say what what the people speaking around mm -hmm. me at all <laughs> <laughs> um, i i turned on the te television uh, i almost the first time i i watched the Ru russian program but yeah. i i didn't understand uh, almost i didn't understand what 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 they what they, they are speaking Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I went to I, I, I got to work in in company. My my uh, most tragedy tragedy is that my boss was Russian people, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I I was the only one Japanese uh, in the section. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, um, um, so uh, around me only Russian people. They yeah. speak. Uh, of course, they 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 spoke uh, each other in Russian. So mm -hmm. I was. Uh, it was it was very difficult. It, it was very tough challenge for me to <laughs> execute the work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and uh, but I. I continue to uh, I try to uh, I try to ex I try to uh, expose myself to Russian as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I watch the television uh, maybe four or five hours, maybe more every day. Wow. Uh, I continue to it uh, more than two years. Mm -hmm. uh, so I totally I watch the television. Uh, maybe three thousand, two thousand, or three thousand hours. Oh wow! <laughs> yes, yes. 
pastori, I didn't understand what uh, uh, at all. But after a year, I yeah. I became understand what what said in in the commercial. Okay. In yeah. Advertisement. Yeah. Uh, and second year, I I I got to understand what what people say in in very simple drama, simple serials. Mm -hmm. And uh, three year, uh, third year, fourth year, I, I became understand what 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 dictator, what, what announcer said in the news program, what the what caster, oh, okay. what yeah. caster say in in news program. So and after uh, after that, I I I entered uh, I I quit I quit I. I uh, I quit the job. I oh. entered the uh, uh, university here. Mm -hmm. and I studied uh, with Russian students mm -hmm. uh, in master program. Yeah. Uh, but it it was also very difficult. Mm. So, um, but uh, I managed to uh, um, educate it. Uh, uh, I managed yeah. to uh, graduate. Finish. A graduate, so managed mm -hmm. graduate the university, yeah. and totally I I have been here 50, 15 years. 15. Now it is now uh, it it is so not so difficult to speak in Russia, but mm -hmm. it 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 took very long long time and mm -hmm. great effort. So I'd like yeah. to say that uh, learning Rush learning uh, learning foreign language and. Uh, and to to get confidence in this language, uh, it's a very long, long uh, road, long, long <laughs> process. So you, you can do, go ahead. Sorry, most important thing to master to improve your language is uh, is expose yourself to this language for for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering, Yuki, when you were working for your company in the beginning, yes, were, were you like were people helpful? Did they try to help you understand no. better? No. No. Uh, frankly speaking, no. Uh, oh. may, very few people uh, helped me. Uh -huh. uh, they, of course, they had their job. Uh, sure. Uh, it it is no matter <laughs> uh, uh -huh. uh, how how I. How how I try to understand how how I try to speak to them and yes. all 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 they need it is uh, excuse their their works, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. not a concern. Um, of course, some some people some people helped me, but uh, I most of most of case I I have to I had to. Uh, uh, resolve my problem for myself. Yes. Do it so on your own. <laughs> uh, so I had a very, uh, I had a very difficult, very heavy difficult. It, it was a very heavy time. Uh, mm -hmm. he, it, it was very heavy burden for for yes. me to work in Russia. So mm. for the first, for the first, um, first three. Uh -huh. First three uh, years, but but second, but after three years, I I got accustomed to to the living condition and work, and uh -huh. um, I be, it became um, a little easier to yeah. to do work, but okay. it it also took took a long time. Yeah, to be confident in living and working here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Narelle, I was just going to ask you a question, but you're falling asleep. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you mentioned that in the beginning, when you since you have been here in the United States, it was you were speaking a lot of French, maybe Arabic also, and not as much English. And I'm wondering, at what point did you decide? That you needed to go and speak more to take advantage of, you know, being here. And what have you done besides coming to Verbling? That's one thing. Are there other things that you're doing to 
get out in, in like the community or meeting people or some other kind of way that you're using English more? Uh, yeah, well, um, what I did, um, I went first to the Nova Community College and uh, I did the ASL, I did all the ASL courses there and uh -huh. I, uh, last year I passed this uh, bridge, bridge exam Oh, the mm -hmm. translation, the translation from which is the translation from ESL uh, to um, college level English. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Uh, but um, uh, it's still not good enough for my scores, uh, for my uh, uh, work purpose. Mm -hmm. They they require me on my score to get a 26 on the speaking. And something that is not easy. I mm -hmm. think you must uh, show some fluency that native has. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I I, I might uh, need to work more. And mm -hmm. you know when um, when you enter those uh, classes, those ESL classes. I mean it. it, it it's it's there is nothing serious about them. I mean you learn the basic mm. of things, but you don't yeah. get really uh, uh, you don't get really wide knowledge or academic knowledge. Yeah. And uh, in the TOEFL, TOEFL is an exam that you must be uh, very highly educated to get the score. Sure. Yeah, to get a really good score. Uh, yeah. So you know. Um, yeah, so I, I just, um, so going to school is, is, is something that some, I can say, like, I mean, I can advise people to mm -hmm. uh, go into school, to go to school, because it's a, it's a good way to learn grammar. Mm -hmm. um, but really, learning a language, it's it, the best way to learn the language is, is by listening language, sure, not by learning grammar. Because you know what, I used to go to the and spend a lot of money and learn grammar, but I don't okay. apply those grammar in my speech. Sure. Because you know what, the way people talk, they don't say not only but also either do I, neither do I. People don't do use us. Maybe they use <laughs> the, at academic level. But sure. Not <laughs> or in writing <laughs> or something, yeah. Or writing, yes. For yes. writing uh, things, uh, you may need that uh, for your essay to apply to university, but you don't, you are not going to use that talking yeah. to your boss or talking. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you may talk politely, but not really uh, using those grammatical. Uh, so I think um, the, for me, as um, in my experience, speaking to native and listening to the language is the best way to learn. Um, because learning grammar in books or at school, you end up by forgetting all those things easily because you cannot use them in your speech in the same. Mm -hmm. So the best way is just uh, maybe uh, public speech, speaking public uh, speech, like uh, going to those uh, uh, meetings. To Toastmasters, but, maybe. Yeah. Have you? Those yeah. Yes. No, I had. I ha I didn't have this. Yes, Toastmasters. I yeah. didn't have this chance, but. Um, I think if I meet with the opportunity, why not? Because you yeah. must, because I, anyway, you will learn, you will learn. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Ariella. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Nora, go ahead. Here. I mean, uh, uh, the Nora, the, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I mean, Do you have uh, any question for me? I 
I was um, going to ask you a question, but I wanted Norel to finish. Did you want to say something else, Norel? No, I finished. I think. Okay, you finished. Okay. <laughs> so, Ariela, um, are you thinking of when you, if you come to the United States, do you know how long it might be that you you'll be here for? Sorry, again? Yeah. Um, so you're coming to the United States next week, right? Yeah. How long will you be here in the U.S.? Oh, okay. Um, I I going to go to an um, a work interview. Uh huh. So because I am um, try an postdoctoral position at the na na uh, National Institute of Health. So mm -hmm. I I going to go for a four day. Mm -hmm. Four days. Yeah. Four days. Mm -hmm. So if my uh, work interview is good, uh, I think come back uh, mm -hmm. in May for one year. Okay, for one year. And what is the position that you are going to be interviewed for? Okay. I am a scientific. I am a bioinformatics engineer. Mm -hmm. And I do a um, um, doctoral program in applied science. So I, my interview is to um, an postdoctoral position to do a molecular dynamics simulation. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it is a study the protein or biological system in using computer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like do you study, um, okay I'm gonna, because I'm gonna write this for you guys because I didn't really know what biometrics was either so I looked it up. <laughs> in bioinformatics, that's what you said, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. bioinformatics. Yeah. So it's an interdisciplinary field, which means it mixes a couple of different fields of study. Yeah. And yeah, using bio. Okay, so you're analyzing bio molecular information to study mm -hmm. biological system, and um, so you're what you're applying for is like a research position. Is that what yeah, it would be? Yeah. It's an okay. uh, research position to uh -huh. study, for example, a uh, protein that uh, exists in our brain uh, to explain a uh, difference uh, uh, molecular mechanisms uh, that occur in our brain or in our self. Mm -hmm. And to just study it or to to like examine a problem, like is it a problem that we're having or no? Like uh, no. <laughs> my, my work is specifically a study a biological system in computer. With oh, using other, the computer, using using computer. That. Okay. Uh, other so like a model. Model, so model. You, I you create I models on the computer. Model. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, other scientific uh, do the experiment, so uh, oh, okay. the bioinformatics need work with experimentalists. Okay. So is in, in a work uh, in uh, uh, together. Mm -hmm. You need experimental data to study or to do model in using computer. Okay, uh, and that would help. Um, like what will be useful for that information? Like what you're studying, what can you do with that information? Okay, okay. I can use uh, the biological information to uh, design drug or understand uh, uh, why an, uh, an virus can mutate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That that kind of stuff might be interesting to Norel because she's a pharmacist. <laughs> Norel, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has. It's different. Yeah, sure, sure. She she might have. She has to deal. If somebody uses your research to create a medication, then she yeah. has to be able to know what it does. <laughs> uh, for example, 
20 years ago, yeah. uh, it uh, was necessary uh, doing uh, several experiments to uh -huh. discover a new drug. So if you use bioinformatics or you build a model in your computer, you can um, uh, help an experimentalist and the time to, the time to design drug mm. is, uh, for example, only seven years. Uh, uh -huh. 20 years ago, the, uh, this time was uh, 10 years or 15 years. Mm. Okay, so you can speed up the process. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. you may still need you may still need people who will uh, try the drugs and test. see the, yeah. the test. Yeah. test mm -hmm. the, yeah. So yeah. is with this new method you won't use um, you won't use people to test on them your drugs or maybe okay. some samples like rats. Uh, I rem I remember we used some rats to yeah. test on them, some, the, some drugs. The drug, the drug design is uh, uh, on hard work. So in the first step, uh, we build model in computer. Then a step, uh, experimentalist design drug. And the uh, end, end step, uh, you need proof uh, the drug in animals and then in um, human uh, eel, human eel. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, this process is very difficult until uh, reach an, a good drug e uh, without uh, secondary effects or cytotoxicity. Mm -hmm. And how do you know it's not toxic? Is that the computer tells you, the computer tells you that this drug is not toxic? Yeah. For example, you can evaluate the interaction between an, a specific drug and, and a specific protein. You can see, for example, if one drug can be in an, a specific site in a protein. You can prove it in you in I can prove it in my computer, uh, so it is uh, the first step to um, uh, orient orient to experimentally. Yeah, to or orientate orientate uh, to the, the experiment. The, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. but I think what Narel is trying to say is. Um, would you bypass the testing on the animals or a human trial and just use the information with the computer or do you use the information from the computer models just to design it and then you still do the tests? Yeah. Is, is uh, that right, Nurel? Yes. The information, yes. Okay. In, in, the information in computer is yeah. only to test a uh, at atomic level. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. But it's necessary, uh, and, um, uh, but oh. it is necessary to prove uh, you synthesized drug in animals yeah. and humans. Still, okay. You still have to do that. Yeah. Oh, still have to do that. Okay. I think I understand. Maybe, Ariella, are you talking about the 3D printing? The new method of printing uh, objects. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I can speak in English, uh, but 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 I can. No, no, you're but doing well. You're doing for me. well. Listen, listen. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Nurel. Ask your question again. Oh, um, it's it's. I think it's a 3D printing. Oh, the 3D. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Huh? Well, um, um, yeah, Narelle's talking about nowadays people. Um, you can do a 3D printing of something. So, like, are you doing like 3D modeling? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. We can oh, yes, yes, our yes. protein in 3D model. Uh, we okay. can uh, use glasses to mm -hmm. see protein in 3D. I ah. have a 3D station in our laboratory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yes, the, yeah. a, a, it is <laughs> a new trend today. Today yeah. is the yeah, and uh, I just uh, one of my friends show me some chocolates <laughs> made by 3D. Yeah. <laughs> yes, printed some out? chocolate. Yeah, oh. chocolate made by 3D printing. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's amazing how you see. Yeah. Uh, Bioinformatics yeah. is the science of the future. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, I wanted to say hi to Kata. Kata, are you there? Because yeah, I see that you've come in and out a couple times, so maybe you're having trouble with your connection because I can't hear you, Kata, if you're there. Maybe try your microphone or headphones or something. Or write in the Verbling chat and let me know what's happening. Uh, Yuki, tell me... Yeah. Um, is this a difficult topic for you? Yeah, uh, only 3D printer is a uh, very hot topic, so I understand mm -hmm. it. It uh, using 3 3D, 3D printer is now quite popular, uh, mm -hmm. not only in, in the U.S. also in Japan. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, there are many kind of uh, usage uh, mm -hmm. application. Uh, uh, um, there, there, there would be many kind of uh, application, uh, uh, many kind of works, uh, which is up, which, which, which are te that, that technology, 3D printer technology can yes. can apply, can be applied. So I think uh, future of the 3D printer is quite uh, quite bright. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And uh, um, um, and and um, some companies uh, already uh, uh, offered the offered uh, various various service to their customers. One of them is maybe uh, customized or some kind of yeah figure. Yeah, figurines. Figure, figure dolls. Yeah, yes, yeah, figure yeah. Dolls applying 3D technology. Right. So if uh, if client uh, want to create, want to get uh, uh, their favorite character from animation, <laughs> they can send send a picture to the company. Company yeah. printed out using 3D printer the model yeah. and uh, and send back to the client. Uh, right. That that uh, that that kind of business uh, uh, mm, until now uh, going uh, successfully, uh, but but uh, some 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 people anxious anxious about the problem uh, uh, around the 3D technology. Uh, for example, uh, you can you can even make a make a shot shotgun make a oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gun, uh, using 3D printer, so any any person can uh, could have could get a uh, powerful weapon. <laughs> you uh, yeah, made but of it's, plastic. it's not real. So it yes. just looks real. It's real. Yeah. Um, and the most advanced technology of 3D printer. Uh, Enable enable us to create not not create a model not not from plastic but from metal. Hmm. So 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 it's it's different because the three D modeling or printing is different than like a mold, like pouring plastic into like a mold or yeah. I don't yeah. It's interesting. Narelle, yes. what did you actually see a print the three D printed chocolate? What did that look like? Yes, uh, let me share my screen with you. Okay, because, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, here. Uh, 
Okay, I'm looking for I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking on my uh, okay. Because usually they use molds to make things. You guys know the it, word it's molds? A, it, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's a sophisticated computer software. Yeah. yeah. And it's amazing. Actually, an American uh, who started this in his garage, and then he started to do that for the bones, for a human bone. bone. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, uh, yes. And then, um, little by little, it's really become... Uh, okay, click here, let me... And... It's become very popular. 3D. Yeah. Bones and <laughs> you're looking. I found something I'm displaying while you're looking. But these okay. are it's 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 weird to think of it as being printed because it, it does look like a mold. So it, I guess it's just a different process. I don't know what the printer looks like, the actual machine. Okay, 3D at where? Oh, there is. Okay, MD13. Okay, okay it looks something like I'm this. I'm just finding you this right now. Okay, 3D. You can go and. On yours? Uh, uh, I don't know how to copy, but I'm just sending you the address. Okay. And you're going to see the everything there. It's very really interesting. I, I heard that, but I heard that 3D technology is not so new technology. Uh, it, it exists from uh, quite uh, yeah. for a long time. Yeah. But, but uh, I heard uh, 3D technology, 3D printing. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Yuki. Uh, 3D. Well, okay. 3D. Yeah, but 3D, 3D uh, printing, uh, mm, uh, making a metal model, yeah, is is quite a new technology. Mm. Uh, um, plastic is not uh, applying technology. Uh, making plastic model is uh, restricted. But uh, if if uh, making a uh, if uh, making a um, metal model by 3D printer uh, will be uh, possible more flexibly. Uh, uh, potential uh, potential of this technology is very big. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, d I yeah I don't know. It's interesting. Now, um, Ariella, mm -hmm. is that is that something that you use also or not really? The printing aspect of it, like if you're modeling a mo molecular model of some protein or something, do you actually print it out so you can like see uh, it? We can see our a uh, protein model it in 3D using glasses, but we don't print this model because it's so expensive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But I see. I see protein. Uh, I have seen. Yes, uh, you have seen. I have seen a mo protein model printed in 3D. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it is very expensive. Yeah. And I, you, you, so I, you open it? You I open it? Yeah, well, um, I just, it's not a link, so I just copied mm. it and I put it into the Google uh, search, mm. but, um... It's on YouTube. Oh, this one how right here I on YouTube? It? Yeah, how can I share my screen? Do you have the YouTube app? YouTube app, yes. Okay, oh. hold on. Mm -hmm. The science and technology is amazing. Oops. 
Oh. Yeah. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> okay. On your screen, if you try to share it, if everybody has the YouTube app, but I don't know if everybody has the YouTube app. Do you have it um, there? I have YouTube. I open, but I don't see the books. Sorry, uh, yes, Yuki? What would you like to uh, show me, show us? It, it would be very special um, topics. Mm -hmm. it, it would be difficult for us to understand. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so please explain us uh, with, uh, with simple words. <laughs> 3D. She just wanted to show some 3D printing. Yeah, it's not stuff. a conference for for scientists. Yeah, it's a class, <laughs> you keep English class. So lost. I'm sorry. Did you? But you you understand about the 3D printing? You keep okay. Yes, I, I am I am sharing sharing you with you in your Facebook, Lisa. Okay. It's very interesting. Okay, you can share it with me. I'll check it out. I'm still trying to see if Kata is joining us. Kata, are you there? Your microphone is muted now, so... Okay, please let me know if you, you have it in your Facebook. Okay, I'll let... Yuki? Uh, me? Uh, uh, sorry, I don't have a Facebook page. No, not you. I'm saying... <laughs> I'm asking you... <laughs> was the... Um, I'm sorry. Was the the topic of the three D printing um, too difficult? Uh, no, not so difficult. I I I mean the um, very very um, specific specific topics for scientists uh, is difficult for uh, to under, understand for usual people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, uh, applying technology applying uh, uh, te technology of 3D printer is quite uh, quite easy to understand, but if it uh, if, if it uh, going too okay, far, okay, you have the link here. Uh, okay, Lisa, thank you. You have you have a web link chat. That okay. one will. That one will. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. We can all watch it later because we don't have too much more time left. Okay. But we we'll, okay. I yes. I'll watch it afterwards. Okay, I'm sending both of them. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Finally. Ar Ariella, mm -hmm. how long have you been studying English? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I take, uh, I have taken an uh, English uh, class uh, uh, from my first uh, um, year in the university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and ten, ten years ago. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, but in Chile, the uh -huh. people don't speak in English. Never, never, never. Uh, you why, only. Why is that? Why do you think that is? I don't know. Maybe in the capital city of Chile, in Santiago, the people uh, talk or speak. Uh, a little bit in, in English, but in in region, for example, I live in Talca, yeah. at uh, three uh, uh, three hundred kilometers of Santiago. The yeah. people don't speak in English, never, never. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so when people are um, learning English, you just speak a little bit in the class, but. <laughs> Um, but outside, there's no way to practice. No. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the problem. Mm -hmm. Now the 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 country have an uh, a program to the people learn English and improve your uh, or English uh, and uh, the government give a uh, English course uh, free. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, have you, do people watch movies in English or listen to music or anything like that? Um, maybe the the young people listen music in English or uh, yeah. watch uh, a movie in English, but mm -hmm. the old uh, people uh, don't like English. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it hasn't really become so important yet for people. Like in, in some countries, um, it's very important. So, uh, for example, what we call the, the Nordic countries, like Sweden, Norway, mm -hmm. Denmark, they start um, their children learning English very young. And I also heard that the television shows, a lot of them that are from the United States do not have... Um, they are not dubbed, so they're all in English. So when you're little and you're a kid, you want to watch cartoons, it's in English. So you oh. just you just watch it, you know. But in other countries around the world, it's dubbed. So the cartoons might be from the United States, for example, but it's in Spanish or French or, you know, another language. But in those countries, it's not. They don't do it because maybe it's a small you know, a language that's not spoken by a lot of people, so it's not efficient, you know, for cost efficiency, maybe. I don't know. But mm -hmm. uh, but I'm wondering, Yuki, when you were learning Russian, did you, um, besides the TV, did you like to listen yes. to Russian music uh, or, you know, yes, do things it, it, with Russian people, or did yes. you mostly focus on the television? Mm -hmm. uh, regarding this, this team, uh my wife, uh, uh, learning process of Russian people, Russian language uh, of my wife is a good example. She, yeah. uh, uh, when she came here, uh, she almost didn't know Russian language at all. But she, she also, uh, she took me, uh, yeah. she also uh, continued to watch t TV program every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, for a long time, and she yeah. her her favorite program is cartoon. What you mentioned? Yeah. She, oh. she she is fond of Russian cartoon. Yeah. Uh, so she continued to watch Russian cartoon every day, every day. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, uh, maybe she uh, maybe big amount of uh. Uh, she spent a big amount of time uh, to watching watching Russian animation. Yeah. And after three years, she she do, uh, her her Russian skills uh, improved rapidly. So yeah. uh, now she speaks maybe better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Russian language. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, I think watching animation uh, yeah. is uh, one of the one of the best way to improve your language. So yeah. I I like I also I uh, uh, I also have to I also want to mention as well that that uh, input is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, you have to create in your brain uh, some kind of language map. Yeah. After that, you you can speak. Uh, uh, maybe you you uh, it would be, be it will be easy for you to speak in this language. Mm. So, mm -hmm. firstly, uh, we, uh, most uh, most important thing uh, to learn language in first step is creating a language map in your head. So, uh, uh, in order to this uh, input, it's uh, very important. So, a great amount of time you have to expose. You have to be exposed by sure. this language. Mm. That, yeah. That's my. So. <laughs> yeah, Nurel. Nurel, do you um, do you listen to much music in English? Well, I did before I came to the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I did. I mean, all my uh, uh, high school and uh, well, almost in, the, in my, uh, university, I was listening to uh, English music, American uh, so song while I am studying. But I don't know what happened when I came here. <laughs> <laughs> Things changed. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was listening uh, to other types. I mean, uh, 
to native language. Were you but... maybe um, feeling homesick or something and wanting maybe, to yes, have a connection? Yeah. Or... yeah. yeah. yeah this emotional. There is, there is an emotion behind it. Sure. Too. Sure. sure. But uh, yeah, but I think it's a great way to listen to music too, in order to improve uh, your English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, Narelle, in in the United States, um, who do you have um, in terms of family members? Is your husband? Do you, but do you have other um, family mm -hmm. that lives with you or nearby or? Well, not nearby. Uh, I. I I have my husband here with me, yeah. and okay. uh, we have uh, two of his brother in New York. They live there. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah. But you know, when you receive a call from them, like you have to speak Arabic. Okay. And uh, <laughs> yeah, when when you uh, um, when uh, his family from Egypt call me, then I have to speak some Arabic. Mm -hmm, sure. And, uh, yeah. I was like I was speaking for the two years, the past two years I was speaking a lot, a lot of mm. Arabic and French and a little of English. Then one day I went to the exam and I I say what what I'm doing? I'm just it's crazy. I have to speak a good English because <laughs> I, yeah, I saw, I saw, I hear some candidates. They were with me there. They were speaking fluently, and they was mm. like, "Uh oh, that's not good." Yeah, I have to improve it. Yeah, I have to improve my English. No more Arabic. Uh, <laughs> no more yeah. French speaking. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I decide. Uh, so no, I'm not answering my phone. I say everyone. <laughs> hey. No, I swear I did that. I did that. Uh, that was my resolution for 2014. Okay, I, you, you put your foot down. <laughs> yes, and I let them know. I yeah. have to finish this first, and then maybe because switching your mind from this to this, believe me, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. When I'm in the yeah, when I'm yeah. on the. Uh, I mean, when you are speaking like English, English, and then you change suddenly, then it's yeah. very hard to come back again to English, and mm. mm -hmm. you don't improve this way. But. Yeah, yeah, um, Ariela, it's it can be difficult sometimes for people who speak Spanish also in the United States because there are so many Spanish speakers. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I I want to thank you because the, uh, this was an excellent experience for me because I can I call explain you my work mm -hmm. and you can understand me. Yes, I, I did. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, <laughs> great. Yeah, and um, the people that you would be working with, like if you got the job, um, are they um? Americans, native English speakers, or are they from other countries as well? Other um, scientists from other countries? Yeah, uh, in the scientific area, uh, there are, there are uh, some, uh, people uh, around the world. Indian mm. people, Chinese people, um, mm -hmm. uh, German people, I don't know. So okay. the, the, the language to communicate us is English. Okay. Okay, so everybody is is the same in terms of um, English will be their second or third or fourth language, <laughs> yeah. but it's the one you have to communicate with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Good. All right, you guys. Well, thank you. Um, I was going to talk about the generation gap, <laughs> but <laughs> we went on to uh, language learning and 3D <laughs> printing and other things which were interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe tomorrow I'll talk about that in another class. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Another yeah. Class. So that Thank was you, fun. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Bye. I'll see you guys Bye. later. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Lisa. Bye. Good night to you too, and good morning to you. Thank you. Have a good day. Good luck. Good <laughs> luck, Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. You too.
Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. Um, my name is Lisa and I live in the United States. I live in Washington State and I am one of the English teachers here at Verbling.com. So if you have a reservation for this class, you can go ahead and use it now and come into the classroom, which is the Google Hangouts here. And if you don't yet have a reservation, then you can just okay. Hi everybody. Oops. Welcome oh, where's that? to another hour is that of you? English That's you, classes. <laughs> on you have to close com. your verbling.com window. There you go. I often forget that too. <laughs> so when Sorry. you click on the when you click on the join class button then it opens a new window and you get to the Google Hangouts window and when the um, Google Hangouts window is open then you can close the Verbling window because now you'll have the Google Plus Hangouts on one side and then the Verbling chat on the other side and we uh, can work it like that. So there were some reservations so we'll see here Ariela, in a minute if some people join us um, Nurel says maybe she'll be able to stay awake. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, so um, if you want to join us, this is going to be a conversation class. So if you are interested in practicing your speaking skills, your English speaking skills, then um, go ahead and join us now. And we're going to have this entire hour to have a conversation. And so let's get started. We can, you know, other people can join us um, when they feel like it. Um, but we want to use this hour of our time together um, to the best, um, the best that we can. Okay. Hi. I said hi, Ariela. Already, Ariela. What time is it? Um, oh, remind me. Are you two? Um, two a.m. Oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> wow. Do you usually stay up late, Ariela? Uh, Three and a half. Mm -hmm. yeah. Three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, Ariella, you would like to talk to Norel about that area because I I don't live in that part of the country. I live on the west coast. So uh -huh. Washington D.C. is considered more of the east coast. So it is different in terms of a lot of things. <laughs> in terms oh, okay, of okay, okay. yeah, culture and weather and of course being near to the capital, which is Washington, DC. Lots of people live it's very populated. Where I live is not very populated at all. Um, and so it's very different uh, than where I live. But um, Norell lives there and has been there for three and a half years already, so she knows a lot already about that area. Uh, yes. I am. Yeah. Oh, Go sorry. Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I am interested interested in uh, know how long do you need uh, live in USA to uh, improve or uh, talk in English with fluency. Oh, good question. Well, <laughs> very good question. Uh, you have just to immerse yourself with the English. I mean, everyday English. Try to... Um, uh, the best way is to be in a native family speaking English. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is the best way for... Uh, people to learn quickly the language. However, if you speak your native language in your house while you are in the United States, it will take it will may take you time to improve. Okay, you must That's speak right. English inside and outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, started now, but I need to improve my English. <laughs> okay, you're getting ready for your trip, huh? Yeah. Nice. Great. Wonderful. My trip okay. is uh, the next Monday. Wow. Wow, that's coming up fast, huh? <laughs> um, Ariella, you're actually going to be pretty close to where, where Norel lives. 
Hi, Narelle. Hi, hi, how are you? Good, welcome. Um, Narelle, tell Ariella where you live. Oh, oh somewhere. Somewhere <laughs> near to Washington, D.C. <laughs> yeah, but what state do you actually live in, Narelle? Well, Ashburn, Virginia, it's uh, almost oh, okay. 10 miles from Washington, D.C. Not okay. that far. It's just 20 minutes drive from my house to mm -hmm. Washington, D.C. 20 minutes drive. Without 20 minutes, traffic. okay. With Without traffic, traffic, right. Yeah, with I traffic, maybe 35 minutes. Maybe okay. one hour. <laughs> <laughs> you never know with with snow and with ice. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, Ariella is going to be visiting the United States soon to give a presentation, and she's going to be in Maryland, which is pretty close to Virginia. Yeah. So, yeah, it's right there. Um, now, Del, in fact, how long do you stay in USA? What, pardon me, what do you say? Oh, uh, how long do you stay in USA? Oh, I live here. I live. Uh, I live permanently. Um, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm living here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so how you... long ha I have been? Okay, uh, I yeah. have been here almost uh, <laughs> inside. Inside, when you are in your house, you must. Speak in, try to speak English, listen to the news, do everything in English, thinking in English. Yes. Everything. When you prove, um, I might take, t I took time to improve because I wasn't speaking, uh, I wasn't immersing myself. I was mostly speaking French with my family and friends. So that can take you time to improve your English. Uh, that's what happened to me with me. So <laughs> now, uh, yeah, now I ha I need to just to immerse myself with English so I can improve quickly. I still not fluent because I was uh, I was mostly talking outside with people a little English, but when I came home, I use my native language, either Arabic or French, to speak with my family members. So that wasn't really, and watching movies from my native country, ah, okay. stuff, that's, that's, that doesn't help, but you have to do everything. Once you put your foot uh, on this ground, in United States <laughs> ground, <laughs> then you may try to do everything in English in order to improve quickly. Yes. Yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Yes. And I just want to include uh, Yuki in here. Hi, Yuki. I just wanted to say hi and hear your voice. It's 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 not too uh, irregular time for you, Yuki. It's nice in the morning. Good morning time good, for good you, morning. huh? Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> how, how are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Good. Good. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna answer that question, Ariella, and then I'm gonna let Yuki answer it too because um, I I had this similar experience to Norel. I have had two experiences. One was when I went to Spain. I was a foreign exchange student, and I lived with two different families. And when I lived with the first family, that was the beginning of my time there. So. I didn't really know any Spanish, even after taking two years in high school in the United States. I can't really say that I knew much at all. So I spent mm -hmm. probably the first three months of living with the family and going to school, high school, um, okay. being pretty quiet, <laughs> you know, just listening and just trying to make sense of everything and you know, slowly starting to speak. But then after three months, I was able to do everything that I wanted to do, read books, participate in class, you know, go to movies, have friends. Um, and so you could say I was fluent by then, but then it's always a matter of, you know, 
expanding your vocabulary, learning more words, more phrases, things like that. So I'm, you know, still with Spanish. I there's plenty I can learn, obviously. Um, okay. But, Interesting. So I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. It's definitely. <laughs> I mean, you already are at a level way beyond <laughs> what I was at, you know. And but I think what Narelle is saying is true. I have I work even privately. People, you know, pay me money to um, talk to me privately because they live in the United States, but they might live in a very large community of like Arabic speakers or Urdu speakers or Spanish speakers, and they um, they don't get much practice in English because they can because the United States has such large communities of different people from around the world that you can really live without English pretty well in some mm -hmm. cities. Yeah. yeah. And so it's really a matter of you getting out there and trying to meet maybe some native speakers, immersing yourself in the language, um, and then it will go pretty pretty quickly. It's, um, you know, take some, I mean, you're going to be busy and you'll probably be working with native speakers.